Take first question in the front on the corner here, on the right side. Hold that right there. <laughs> Go ahead on the right. Steph, uh, Andy Schultz, CNN Sports. Uh, Sabrina went out there and put up an incredible score, really put the pressure on it. You know you're the greatest shooter of all time, but were you a little nervous after her performance? Absolutely. I saw the first rack. I think she made the first uh, six, I believe, maybe seven. Um, I was having flashbacks of watching the summer and – you know, she said a, a really, a, you know, great night. We were just talking about it. No matter what competition, whether it was this or the regular three-point competition, we would have both been in the, you know, advance to the next round. So it added a lot of pressure for sure. And we just wanted to, you know, get it off to a good start, settle in. Thankfully, you know, made a made enough to to get over the top. But it, that was perfect. The way, I mean, great entertainment, great shooting, both sides, and awesome 70 seconds for both of us. <laughs> after you cleared that first rack, what, what was going through your mind? Honestly, just happy that we were able to get out there and start shooting. <laughs> um, obviously, there was a lot of buildup to this and, and excitement around it. And so I was, I was just excited to be able to, to finally have the opportunity to, to get out there and um, just shoot, to be honest. Dave, right here. Sabrina, Dave McBenna with the SBN. Uh, let's be real here. Like, if you got to shoot second and you were the target <laughs> score, you're walking away with the belt, right? Like, come on. I mean, we were we were talking about just getting a second round. Like, I, I think we both finally just kind of got warm after sitting for a while and, and wanted to to run it back. So uh, maybe we'll be able to evolve that next time. But um, obviously, Steph won for a reason, and um, I'm going to have to try and beat him next time. On the front and the right. Sabrina, when you look at like what you're able to do tonight, how much do you think that will help the game of basketball? I know people always say women's basketball, but skill, shooting – is for everyone. Yeah, just basketball as a whole, I think. Being able to have this crossover um, and understanding the respect that I've been able to, to receive from a lot of the NBA guys. I mean, you know, just knowing that Steph wanted to do this as well in, in terms of just respecting another shooter. And I think it's going to show a lot of um, young kids out there, a lot of people who might have not believed or even watched women's sports that um, were able to go out there and, and, and put on a show. And so, it was really exciting to finally be able to do this. And like Steph said, it, it happened perfectly. R Rachel, over here. Hey, Steph. What do you know about Sabrina that you knew even coming into the night that this was going to be extremely competitive? I was talking to, we were talking about it yesterday. You know, when I first met her um, back in the Bay, you know, when, right before the Oregon, you know, rocket ship went off. You see a different demeanor and a different kind of killer instinct and a focus that, I mean, the skill is one thing, but the mentality is a whole, a totally different thing that you kind of can't teach. And she's, you know, demonstrated that every step of the way. Um, so I knew, you know, no matter how the buildup was, there would be no stage that'd be too bright for her. And, you know, the way that the the competition went, you know, she, the way she started was like the, there's no fear and there's no kind of hesitation at all. She knows who she is, and and she also works like that's the that's the thing that um you can't you, the preparation you know to get a skill set like she has and a, and a shot like she has in an all around game like there's work that goes into it. So it was demonstrated at a high level uh, even tonight. Sabrina was nice enough to share a photo of when she was 10 years old in the tunnel seeing you and, and that moment for her. You gonna make sure Riley gets a photo with her? Riley, we checked that box a couple of years ago when she was uh, at Oregon. We brought the girls to a game at Cal and I was even saying just the way that she carries herself on and off the court, she understands the, the platform that she has. And you know, she took uh, 30, 45 seconds to talk to my girls and make them feel special and you know, took a picture and the whole deal. So she, she gets it and uh, it's, it's a special, special gift. Tim, six row back on this side. Tim Reynolds with the Associated Press. Kind of for both of you, you guys combined to shoot like 75, 76%, something crazy like that tonight <laughs> on a lime green floor in a football stadium, which <laughs> is probably something neither of you is used to. How, how cool is it that not just you're able to do this, but you both put on a show? Like this wasn't, if this had been 2118, this would have felt different, probably. The fact that you were both able to to put up a big number, how, how much more does that add to what you guys pulled off? Everything you just said is, you know, it goes into the form of, like, the entertainment value of what this, you know, that was obviously it was a long buildup for, you know, 
two, what, 72nd rounds. But I've been to 10 All-Star weekend, or a little bit more shooting in three-point contests. Like, to have it with, you know, the new floor and you know, it was like 40,000 fans out here and people using the bathroom. And, <laughs> uh, just all type of, you know, chaos around here. Like, for us to deliver, you know, a show like that, um, it, it was perfect. Like, just as much excitement that you can build in that short amount of time with, you know, two great shooters going at it. So, uh, pretty, pretty special. This will be something we'll remember for a long time. Third row center. Steph, Guidel Padilla, Filter 360. Uh, over your career, you have won many awards and you have an unbelievable career. Uh, how do you feel that having this um, challenge today contributed to women basketball? And it's going to go into history as, as at your top, you were able to give back to that, to that um, society. It's something I, uh, you just live, like you don't do things just to check a box. And I'm stealing that from Sabrina. She we mentioned like this is something, if you're supporting basketball and generally supporting women's basketball, it's something that you continually do and you find you know new creative ways to you know, have investment in, their, in the game. The fact that this is a first of its kind in our sport, the fact that uh, it's on this stage and the way that it went down, like the fact that it's supporting both of our foundations, um, the NBA foundation as well. So there's a community impact you know, component, like all of that is uh, a step in the right direction. And we will always be able to say we were the first. So that's a, that's a really cool, cool accomplishment. Right here in the front. Sabrina, this is the NBA All-Star Weekend where, you know, historically some of the, all of the best players in the NBA have come and played and be celebrated. Right? You, you've come in here on a one-off event, the first of its kind, and you're not only a guest, you could argue this is maybe the highlight, the biggest event, the, most, the one that most people are excited the most about. What does it feel to, you know, have a space that didn't even exist and be able to create it? to be able to come in, fill it, and at the same time deliver such a great performance? Yeah, well, I think that's kind of been what both of us have done our entire careers is just created our own space and um, done it our way and stayed true to ourselves. And this was so authentic for the both of us to be able to be here, um, you know, finally not in a closed gym, <laughs> shooting in front of um, everyone watching and understanding what it means um, for ourselves, but also the bigger picture and, and knowing that, this is where I wanted to be to, to be able to do this. And so um, obviously very thankful for everyone who's helped make this um, kind of dream that we both had a, a possibility and knowing that it's, it's changed the landscape of how people are going to view what we're doing. And um, we're very excited to see kind of what the future has to hold with more people having the opportunity to do stuff like this. Next question here. Uh, Steph and or Sabrina Lachlan from NBA Australia. Um, I think we, we all agree this is going to have an incredible impact on basketball around the world. What do you sort of hope the immediate impact will be and then what do you sort of see the longer term impact being? I think immediate has just changed the conversation on, you know, the little boys and girls who are watching us play. Like, it doesn't matter what gym you show up to, don't discount, you know, who's to your left or to your right. If they can shoot, they can shoot and you can compete and you can have fun. Um, hopefully we can be, a, you know, a, uh, I guess models of, of what that looks like on the biggest stage. Um, long term, you know, we'll see. It's like I said, it's something that will continue. Me personally, I know she's, you know, an ambassador for basketball for women's basketball. She's just getting started on her career, so I'll let her speak to that. But it's you, you continue to find you know awesome ways to um, further the conversation on how amazing the women's game is. Um, getting the eyeballs on it, you know, and continue to, to create energy around it. And this was a, a small step in that direction. Last question in the center. Um, this might be obvious to some, maybe not to others, but I think the next iteration of this would maybe be bringing um, Caitlin Clark into this next year. Um, I was just curious what you guys thought. Could we see that next year? Uh, and what you guys just think of her game as far as, you know, being an elite shooter? Well, we've been talking about, Finding, um, finding different ways to change this up next year. And um, I think he has a partner in mind that's going to join him. And so um, I'm open to any partner that could help me win and, and take that belt that he has up front and center away from him. Thank you both.